Hey you with the black thumb. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Are you going to be planting a garden this summer? Because if you are, I want to give you two huge things, two huge things that you better not do if you want to avoid killing the majority of your garden like I did last summer. So here we go. Okay, so every Memorial Day, there is a parade and a celebration in my neighborhood, well, actually my suburb, and I have people over at my house and we grill out and we go up to the beer garden, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so I wanted to get my garden down before that happened and it all went real, real wrong last year. So here's what I did wrong. The answer is compost. My compost, I opened, I actually was doing it in a very large garbage can because I was being cheap and I didn't buy the tumbler, you know, whatever. Anyway, I opened it and it just stunk and it was nasty as all get out. And several, several people said to me, oh yeah, compost is supposed to smell, compost is supposed to smell. And I started doing some research and here's your first tip. Compost is not supposed to smell. It's not. The thing is you have to have the right mix of green and brown. And what that means is brown is gonna be like your sticks, your leaves, that kind of stuff. And green is gonna be your vegetables and your grass, whatever you, know, you throw in there. So as a vegetarian, I want a garden because to lose weight, you need to eat vegetables and you need to eat healthy. And um, so it's also a great way not to waste your vegetable scraps because as a vegetarian, you eat a lot of vegetables, right? So I was throwing them in there, throwing them in there all year, but I wasn't throwing any more sticks or leaves or anything like that. And it stung to high heaven, it was terrible. So here's your first clue. If you're putting your kitchen scraps in your compost, every time you do it, make, you, make sure that you're putting in sticks and leaves with it so you get the right mix. Otherwise, you're gonna get a stinky, terrible mess. So here's the next problem. So you have to balance it out to not only get rid of the smell, but make sure that it's effective to grow your plants because it provides nutrients to the plants. That was a whole point of making compost in the first place, right? So here's your tip number two. Don't try to fix it after you put it on the ground because I was a huge dumbass last year and that's what I did and it killed the majority of my plants. Um, you have to fix it where it's at first, whether it's a container, whether you have a compost pile, whatever you decided the way you decided to do it, fix it first. Now, I don't know what happens when you have too much brown, but my problem was I had too much green, too many vegetables, right? And that means the acid is really high and the way to balance that out is to put lime in it and that balances the mixture, which eventually happened. And about maybe like a third of my vegetables survived, but it was awful. And also still stunk when I put it on the ground. So the entire yard stunk and I felt terrible because I felt bad for my neighbor. I guarantee you my neighbor could smell it for days. And I felt, I was actually tempted to like walk next door and be like, sorry, my yard stinks. I know it, it's my fault. And I was too embarrassed to even do that. Um, so fix it first. I actually had to put mulch on top of it just to try to mask the smell, which was ridiculous. Okay, so if you want a good compost or a good garden, you need to one, get your balance right. Two, if you mess up your compost, fix it before you put it on the ground. And three, if you think this is gonna be too hard, just buy some pre-made, you know, fertilizer or whatever at the store because honestly, it might be easier in some cases. I like it because I get to, I feel good, like, because I have a way to recycle my vegetables and I'm not just throwing them into the trash and. Uh, I'm not a huge save the planet person, but I do like to do what I can when I can. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can.